Alrighty, so the next thing we're going to move on to is the height level adjustment. Pretty much come over to height level adjustment, click. Now it's going to give you a little diagram and a brief actual description of how to do this. Now I'm just going to, I'm going to run through it with you pretty quick. Pretty straightforward. You want to install your M1 jaw. I'll show you how. Pretty much it will just lock straight in to the actual vise. Turn this lever, make sure it's firmly pushed down and the jaw will be locked. Now what you want to do is you want to get a cutter and a probe. So for this purpose, we're going to use the 2.5 milling cutter and just your standard probe. First thing you want to do is get your cutter out of your packaging. You want to install it in. Nice and firm. One thing I will show you quickly with the cutters is they all have a channel or a groove for the grub screw on the Allen key to lock into. Make sure you do line it up correctly and insert it far enough so the actual Allen key or grub screw locks into the correct locking position. Now with the probe, it's a little bit easier. The probe's pretty straightforward. You pretty much Insert your probe and what you want to do is you want to get your probe a little bit higher than the level of the cutter. So it can be, you know, a mil or two above sort of thing. Once you get it in, once again, do up the Allen key. Nice and tight. And then you want to hit continue on your actual device. Now this is going to run the initial test. What it's going to do is it's going to drop the cutter onto the M1 platform. And what it's going to ask you to do now is pretty much line the cutter and the probe up. So what you want to do I just uh, undo the Allen key a bit and I literally let the probe just drop onto the actual plate. Once it's on there, you probably want to back it off about a quarter of a mil, just enough so it's just not touching. And then tighten that Allen key up again. Now it's nice and tight. You want to come back up and you want to click continue. It's going to go through and make sure it's calibrated correctly. And it's going to ask you what size cutter you're using. Now, like I said, for this purpose, we're using the 2.5mm cutter. So select 2.5 and then confirm. So that's your height level adjustment complete.